Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out the Elegoo Mercury X bundle, which individually comes with the wash and the cure. So in this video we're going to unbox it, set it up, and use the machines. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let's get started. All right, so this is what the box looks like. We got a picture here of the wash and cure station. The box is not too big and weighs about 15 pounds. Not much to see there, so let's go ahead and open it up. All right, so we have soft foam. I'm gonna go ahead and dump it out. And you guys can see it's packed very well, lots of foam around. Here we have the base, looks like to the cure station. Uh, this part's pretty heavy, so we've got more stuff in here. And yeah, they got this thing packed very nicely. We got our acrylic plastic that's yellow in color. Operations guide, very nicely laid out and shows in really good detail of how to use the cure and wash station. So yeah, very cool. All right, so let's see what's in here. This got a good weight to it. So we got a nice lid that's actually sealed tight, more foam and yeah, it looks like we had a whole other part here, guys. So it does appear that there are some pieces to assemble. And in here we have the wash base. So it is a bit smaller than the curing base. And that kind of makes sense because the washing container sits on top of here and it's not as deep in depth. So. so I guess we found all our pieces. Let's go ahead and remove everything from all these baggies. So right off the bat, I really love the design. Looks like they have a display in here and then this large knob as a function. And I think the, yeah, the whole display is actually a button. Very cool. We got actually nice squishy rubber feet and our power port here on the back. All right, so let's see what else we got. So it looks like there's a basket and also another adapter. It looks like for the larger plates maybe. But yeah, in the basket we got a little baggie of screws with an Allen wrench. So we'll probably need that to put some of these pieces together here. But yeah, basket's pretty nice quality. Looks like stainless steel. It simply goes into the container, just like that. And this piece looks like goes right here that has a lip that it sits on. So. So these look like the light bars. Yeah, I can see the heatsink behind there. And there's a couple sensors down here. I think that's for the lid. And on the back side, we can see that there's UV lights all the way up. So it's like a light bar. And I guess we're gonna have to install that. And on the bottom, there's a plug that plugs into the base. And there are two of them. And in this bag, we have the power supply. There's only one and it actually splits into two. And the supply is 12 volts, 5 amps. Okay, so we're making some good progress here, guys. I'm pretty excited to see this base here. It looks quite interesting. So this is our cure base. We have a rotating plate on the top, which is transparent. Looks like acrylic. And the reason it's transparent, if you guys can see on the bottom there, we got more UV lights that shine up. So yeah, that's a really nice design choice there to cure the models from underneath. But yeah, we have the same kind of controls here. The knob, the display, and the button in the middle. Logo here on the back, we just have the power port, same squishy rubber feet underneath. And here we can see where our UV light bars will be connecting to. And there's a couple power cords that stick out where we'll have to plug them in. By the way, one of them has two plugs and that's the one that has the extra sensor. So I know some of you guys are pretty interested to see what's inside of them. So I'm going to go ahead and open up these bottom covers and we can take a little peek in there. All right, so we'll start with the uh, cure station. So let's see okay so we just have a cover and this is what we see so pretty simple we have a motor here looks like a dc motor and then our power socket here our bottom led bar that has aluminum heatsink looks like and then our main control panel here yeah quite interesting as it is simple and there's no fans or anything else so i guess it doesn't need any of that so yeah it looks like the main board here powers the ultraviolet lights and then runs this motor 
All right, so let's see if the wash station is any different. And you guys can see how much smaller the white station base is. And look at that, pretty similar. Except here we have a stepper motor, which is interesting. Normally stepper motors are used for slower speeds, I think. Looks like there's a disc here that has magnets on it. And you guys can see that magnetically magnetizes. But yeah, pretty simple with our power going to the board. And then again, the board controlling the motor. So yeah, seems like maybe a little bit of an overkill for this board here. But I guess it does have a display and a timer. So yeah, it looks good and well constructed. So yeah, hopefully somebody found this interesting. I'm going to go ahead and put the covers back on and we'll continue. All right, so let's go ahead and install the two light bars. So we'll go with this one first that has the two connectors. So the two plugs are different. One of them is smaller and the other one's larger. So you can't mess this up. So guys, there is a twisty in there, like a twist wire that's holding the wires from dropping down under. And we have to actually pull that off. It goes through the middle there and kind of was holding the wire so they don't fall in. So we need to go ahead and pull that out after we plug them in. Now it can sit nice and flush. Grab our little screws that came with it. And you do need this little Allen wrench, which is rounded at the end. Nice to see. So it should be pretty easy to install this stuff here. And there are five little bolts that go all the way around. All right, so this one is on, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Let's go ahead and plug it in first so we don't lose the wire. And then we'll get the little twisty out and put the little five screws there. So yeah, there's a little bit of assembly here, but it's very simple, guys. And I'm guessing they did this because of the packaging so it can fit everything in a smaller box, which is great because everybody wins. And that's the way it goes on. So yeah, pretty simple. And looks like we're done here. So let's go ahead and see how this cap fits. It is plastic wrapped. Yeah, it should just go right on top. Okay, so it is wider than it is deeper, so it all goes one way. That's what these two here look like together. And just by looking at them, I do have to say they look really nice. I like the white. It's a very different than from the black that we usually see. All right, so for the next part, let's go ahead and plug them in. So it does appear that the cord is not too long, maybe about five feet or so. And it does start to split pretty early in the run. So, but we do have a pretty good separation between the machines, four or five feet also. So, but yeah, they feed off of the same power supply. So it doesn't really matter which plug goes where. Plug this in and we'll plug the other one in. So I haven't read the instructions or looked at them at all, but I have a feeling this should be pretty intuitive. So let's go ahead and start with the wash station. So there's a button here in the front. Let's go ahead and click it and maybe hold it. Okay, yeah. And wow, you guys saw that. That was a pretty nice looking startup with all the little lights around it. And yeah, the screen is digital looks like and it looks really nice. Should be same thing here. We'll hold it. Yep. Very cool. All right, so yeah, I think if we just, yeah, if we just turn the knob, you guys can see that we can choose our time here. So let's just go to two minutes and it is in 30 second increments. Click on it and yeah, that's how it starts. And I don't know if you guys can see, it's probably too bright, but the plate is turning very slow. Now, I don't see any kind of adjustments for speed or anything, let's see. Okay, so if we turn this knob while it's on, it doesn't do anything, push it once. Okay, so it just turns off, but it doesn't reset. It's still at the same timer. And then we can adjust the timer, it looks like. So, yeah, so it's just literally a pause. What if we hold it? Kind of curious. Just turns it off, obviously. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, very simple um, operation here, guys. Just click to pause, and then click it to make it go. And you can't reset it anyhow. You have to turn it off completely if you want to reset it, and then turn it back on again, so. But I'm kind of curious why we have all those little lights around the knob though. Is it just a glow? That's kind of interesting. Almost doesn't make sense. I would think they would let you maybe have speed adjustments while it's on, but maybe not. Well, in any case, it looks like that's how it works. And this one's probably the same way. So you choose your time, push it. Yeah, sure enough, it's spun up. So okay, I should probably turn that off because we don't have any liquid in there. So And on the cure station, if I remove the cover, it should stop. Let's go ahead and try that. Okay, it does and it actually beeps a lot. Oh wow, and it doesn't stop beeping. Okay. Okay, once I put it back on there, it just continues. So, I guess, so I wish it would have stopped itself from beeping after, you know, five seconds or something, but yeah, overall very intuitive and easy to use. And you can zero it out really quick, even if you were, you know, just pausing and you wanna start from zero. Yeah, I mean, I think I would have maybe liked to see some speed adjustments. 
Also, let's see if this turntable comes off, and sure enough, it does. And it just literally slides into these little teeth here. And yeah, very easy to remove for cleaning and whatnot else. And also, if you guys notice, there's like these little dots on there, and that's to help the models not stick to the plate. So yeah, and it is pretty thick, very nice. So another thing I wanted to mention that I noticed, there's a bug of some sort. So you guys can see it says zero, zero, and if I turn it, I can, you know, set the time and then start it. But well, let's say I just turned it on and it's at zero, right? If I click it once, that'll lock it. It's kind of like, uh, you know, it's telling it to start, but it's already, you know, at zero, so it doesn't do anything. So if you get confused of why, you know, nothing's happening is because you paused it at zero. So I did notice that. I guess it's somewhat of a bug there. And it probably is the same on both of the machines. Yeah, it is, so. Anyways, just keep that in mind. Also guys, on the wash station, whenever you turn it on, there's like a slight humming sound. And there's some venting here on the side. I'm gonna bring my mic in. You guys can maybe hear that. Yeah, nothing too intrusive, just a slight hum. And here you guys can see, we've just got a clean top. And the reason for that is because there's some magnets underneath, magnetized to the rotor. You, you can see there's four magnets, and that's what the rotor looks like. And it literally just magnetically couples with the base. So and that's how it's able to turn the rotor inside. I guess another thing we can see is how much is the maximum time we can add. Okay, so it's 30 minutes. So you can add up to 30 minutes on the wash. Let's see how it is on the cure. And you guys can see it's not doing nothing because we paused it. But yeah, I'm guessing it's going to be the same thing. Yep, sure enough, it's 30 minutes on that too. And that should be plenty for most use cases. So for the next part, I'm going to print something out. And I am going to use washable resin. So we'll be using water in this container to wash it. And we'll see how that works. All right, guys. So we printed out some test models on our Elegoo Mars 3. Check it out. It's quite an interesting printer. All right, so let's go ahead and release the models. So we can put the whole plate in there, which actually I'm realizing fits without even the basket. So let me go ahead and pull this out. So yeah, it fits perfectly right in there. And it actually sits on this lip right here, if you guys can maybe see. Put a little light behind there maybe. If you guys can see, if I go to the side there, we can actually fit another one right next to it. And we do have different adapters here with the basket that can fit smaller sizes too, so yeah. Or if you wanna just put your model in the basket, you know, clean it like that. Either way, it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little more water to this. So it goes just above the bed or the build platform. And we'll kind of set it there in the middle and we'll set the timer for about, I don't know, let's say about 10 minutes maybe. Click on it, it should start. And there it goes. All right, so that should be pretty clean. So the models are looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and cure them. We're gonna put this lid on. Yeah, the great thing about this Mercury X bundle on the cure is that there are some UV lights that come out from the bottom, which is gonna really cure our bottoms really nicely. So let's go ahead and start it. And there it goes. And you probably guys can't see much. Let's see if I can adjust it a bit here. So yeah, you can see that they're spinning pretty slow and there's two bars of light. And that really covers all of the area around the model really well, including some lights there on the bottom, which cures the whole model. So yeah, very nice. All right, so we're almost finished. All right, let's see how it looks like. So yeah, they actually cured pretty well, even for that two minutes. We can see already that they're looking really nice. So they might need maybe another couple minutes, but yeah, I can already touch it and it's not even sticky. So cured very quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them back in here, maybe run them for a couple more minutes, just to make sure that we are good with the cure, and we can go ahead and you know cure them all the way. So.
All right guys, so as you can see, it could be quite useful to have a wash and cure station. So it's nice that they do separate functions and you don't have to constantly be switching parts around to do the curing or the wash. And yeah, overall I found it to be actually quite convenient to have them separated like this. I really like these little displays and the display itself being the button, very easy to use. And the knob is quite large where it's easy to dial in your time. The only thing I kind of wish is that they gave us speed adjustments. It just would make them a little more versatile. And also I really like how they have the UV lights underneath on the cure station. So the wash station does reverse itself about every minute. So it changes the water direction, which way it twirls, which is nice. Also guys, this container is quite large of 7,000 milliliters, which is great because it can accommodate taller models. But the only downside, if you do want to fill it up, you're going to need a lot of alcohol or water in this case. Either way, it does hold quite a bit of liquid. So the Mercury X bundle would work great with any resin printer, but it does pair very well with the Elegoo Saturn, which is the larger 3d printer and maybe the best thing about this whole bundle here is the value that it brings which is priced very competitively and seems to be a great value so yeah guys if you are interested in these i'm gonna have some links in the description check it out and if you did enjoy this video then hit that like button also check out the Mars 3, Elegoo's newest resin printer, which is quite fantastic having a 4K resolution. Or if you are interested in a larger format printer, check out the Elegoo Saturn that I also reviewed. And I do have a lot more videos in the playlist, so check that out. I think you'll find something interesting there. And as always guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.